There was a lot of beatings from the police and, and, and uh, degrading uh, uh, treatment of people sitting there for three, four hours. I was there with, uh, witnessing how they did, were forced there. I have seen people who have totally blood on, on, on their finger here because they put these uh, handcuffs so tight so they had to take them out. There was a lot of blood here and, and there was a lot forcing people to pee. I mean, this is unbelievable sitting there and then you're degrading really bad and anyone 918 people and while I looked at the windows they had broken some 10 windows some other people what is this in the end we would they, they, we, and the worst thing is also that there is no, no they have no restrictions whatsoever they could do anything this is back to the 19th century at that time one decided to at least not put the leaders in prison who hasn't done anything because you wanted to keep some order. Now they even are making political prisoners out of, of those who organized the non-violent protest. It was clearly stated in code of conduct for climate justice action that it should be no uh, making no harm to people and this is exactly what they did. Anyway, they put these people in prison. We've been doing this uh, action uh, flash mob, silent flash mob in, in uh, solidarity with um, our friends that got arrested and when I say friend in the broader sense like other activists that got arrested uh, through the different actions this week um, through peaceful protesting uh, it was either either preventative arrests or uh, during the actions but always peaceful and they've been charged with um, various things like uh, um, incitation to violence for example for someone that was was clearly stating that it was to be a non-violent action and was part of the organizers and so uh, we're doing this because they're in jail now and they need our support and we want them to be released and uh, it's totally uh, you know against the civil rights that we've acquired throughout you know uh, years of fight uh, in the past and uh, we want to preserve that and there are new laws that have been uh, set up in Denmark now to limit those civil liberties and uh, if people don't protest against them in Denmark they're gonna stay there after the conference anyway and uh, it's just gone bit by bit we're losing all the civil liberties we fought for um, or our you know parents and grandparents fought for ages ago and it's really important to to not lose that in a, and, and fight before it's too late we were supported by Chavez, who stayed at the UN official meeting. He acknowledged the protest outside and he repeated the same message all over the place. System change, not climate change.